Victor Sloan here again. I am your hair loss support and lifestyle brother. Now is the moment you've all been waiting for. Time for my head shave with my head laid as for Moto. Um, I was seeing if the electric foil shaver would shave it down low enough and on this side it was actually doing a pretty good job. But then I got over here and some of this hair just was not wanting to cut so pretty much all I was doing was taking way too long to get this done just for the sake of trying to make the razor go as smoothly as possible. I'm trying to be careful because in my first head shave I ever did I cut myself and irritated my scalp pretty badly and I'm trying to avoid doing that this time by making the razor not have to drag as much but then again this razor most likely won't anyway. Just my tendency to be overcautious. Um, that said, let me go ahead and uh, wet my head with a towel. Some hot water here. Just, uh, since this is only my second ever head shave, trying to cover all of my bases and trying to do this with zero cuts. Wish me luck. Here comes the moment of truth. Now another thing I'm going to do as a precaution is use the trusty lube again. But I'm going to actually use um, some shave gel over it this time in order to help me see where I'm shaving. Uh, I may need more than what I thought I did. Feels pretty good if I do say so. <laughs> and now for the shave gel. Hopefully this will give me a good lather to put on my head to help me see where I'm going. Yes, I am aware of the fact that I'm making a complete and utter mess with this, especially since I can't see very well without my glasses. I think I'm going to smell awfully pretty until I get in the shower when I'm done here. I don't actually have any shave gel of my own, so uh, I borrowed my wife's. <laughs> okay, here we go, it's the moment of truth.
I can definitely feel that there's going to be just a little bit of uh, irritation. But that's just because my scalp's not used to this. Maybe I should have gone with the grain at first. Yeah, that's probably exactly what I should have done. Apparently my hair was still uh, just long enough to cause trouble. In spots at least. Hmm. Maybe I've been holding it wrong. I just realized that maybe I've not been putting the ball down like I'm supposed to. Now that I'm being more careful, I think, yeah, this is working better than it was. Get behind the ear here.
I may not be getting very close, and I may be getting a little bit of a slight irritation that I can feel. But so far, knock on wood, no cuts. Anyway, that is uh, the basics of my first head shave with a head blade and uh, well, I hope you enjoyed. I will be right back after I get this cleaned up. I am back. I ended up off camera, re-lathering and taking it up to pass over everything, making sure everything was smoothed out. Then I put on some of my Amavi aftershave lotion, jumped in the shower, um, and then reapplied the lotion. Um, I did that because I did end up with some razor burn in the back here. I'll take a turn around so you can see. However, that is not bad at all considering this is only the second time I've ever shaved my hair, my head, and there were no cuts. Last time I had two or three cuts and such bad razor burn around my scalp around the same area, but it was so bad that it was actually bleeding through the skin, so. That is much better. I uh, definitely credit that primarily to the head blade. It is absolutely an amazing tool and I have very much enjoyed it. So, you know, for a head blade, you can find any of the plastic models by going to, you know, headblade.com or you know either on Amazon apparently even some convenience stores or department stores will carry them um, however one like mine the s4 version of the moto is only available on the headblade website so if you are interested at all in having a neat nifty tool such as this then I recommend you head on over there and uh, pick one up because as I said in my last videos they are only making a total of 3,000 of these uh, limited runs. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, shave my head and that it was really nice and smooth. Last time I was not able to get my head smooth at all and uh, had to absolutely stop because of the condition that my scalp was in at the time. But uh, even though there are a few spots here now that aren't completely smooth, you know, a few spots that I wasn't able to go back over anymore, it is incredibly smooth. I quite like it. Uh, whew, it'll be time for me to go to bed soon. We'll see what my wife thinks about it in the morning. And uh, yeah, once again, for next video, please leave your comments below discussing what you would like to talk about in the next video. Thank you.